Hello, welcome back to Just One Look, and today we're having a look at a Atari SD Classic Carrier Command. So this was released in 1988 by Microprose, written by Real Time Games, who are quite well known for their 3D games on the spectrums, including the solid 3D game 3D Star Strike. So let's start a strategy game. If you start an action game, you start in right in the middle of the action, as it suggests. And it's really quite a tough game, so I'm just going to do this for this video. Creating game world. So basically we're on a carrier, there's an enemy carrier. And you have to take over the islands and destroy the enemy carrier. So if you look at the map, you see the red islands are the enemies, the blue, which is one down here, is ours, and the green are neutral you have to take over. So what you need to do is go to the island, if they've got defences, destroy them with your flying mantas, possibly your walruses which is like an amphibious tank and then with the walrus if we go here you have the payload we have command center builder and these come in three varieties you have defense factory and resource so obviously they do those what the name suggests so if you drop a resource one on the island, you can only have one per island. That island will then produce resources, which you need to build your supplies for everything. So if you go to the map, you also have a su supply routes. Obviously at the minute we don't have any. And resources have to be sent along there. So the further you are away, the longer it takes resources to get there. Then you have to transfer supplies between the carrier and the island with a drone. And so, these icons stay virtually the same for all of your vehicles. But this one's for defences of the carrier itself, so it's got a laser. So right click there, so we can magnify the view. I'm sure it's quite good for destroying island defences and buildings on the enemy island. And we've got flares. We have viewing drones. So we launch these, it goes up, and then we can fire missiles wherever this crosshair is. So I don't think you can control the direction at all, so I'm not quite sure how useful that was. I can't remember using it much anyway. And here we have drones, so we launch those, and these are defence drones. They're basically decoys for enemy attacks. So we can move those around in different formations, depending on where we're facing. So there, here we have a sort of an overview of all those. So here's our supplies. You can set priorities for the making of these, each of the objects you need and how many you want. So you also need fuel, which is very important. Here we've got damage. And I believe you can set, yeah, that, there we are, set priorities for the repair of these. So there's quite a lot to this game. So apart from the carrier itself then and its defences we have first the walrus. So this is like a tank and we'll load this one up with a laser and then we'll launch it. We'll set a waymark, a waypoint rather. So we need to go around the carrier or so it will bump into it. There we are, so off it goes automatically on autopilot. Can select the weapons and things here. Oh, it's already got there, so we'll control it. So right click to take control. Let's put the speed. There we are, go to, th to the island over here. Do not run into the carrier because it will hurt it and all, probably the decoys. So we've got our laser. So we can go and shoot down structures and deploy the command centers or also if it's the enemy controls the island you can get a, a virus bomb. So then we also have the mantas, so these are flying craft. 
basically for attacking, so we can give a missile. So you can see it has a payload weight, repair state. You also have to balance the payloads. Can we put this on? No. So there again, we'll set a waypoint. Probably not all the way over there. I don't know how far they can go, actually. So program that in, core set. Then we have to launch it. Up to the lift. And launch. So you can see you have these status things here as well. You can send out all your craft at the same time. So let's go back to the Manta. So turn it off autopilot, select missiles. Now is it, the controls are inverted, which makes it quite hard for me these days. So we shoot down the enemy. But I can't actually fire a missile. So I have nothing to lock on to. So here's the carrier. Now for a free early 3D game, this is actually very smooth. The movement isn't jerky at all. So I don't know if there's a way to invert controls anywhere. I don't think there is. No. Okay, so get near the carrier. And then tell it to land. There we are. So land and they will dock on automatic, which is nice. And you are walrus. Come over here. Don't know if we're on autopilot. No, there we are. Now, what's this? Oh, we have a little mini map. So now, look back. And so that's basically what you have to do: go around, take over the islands with your craft, manage your supplies. And I think to win, you have to destroy the enemy carrier. Not sure, I think possibly you can take over all the islands to win, but I think basically you need to destroy the enemy carrier. So it's the enemy carrier is different to yours, it's faster. I don't think it has rolluses, I think it just produces drones on the islands. And it's actually very easy to destroy with your carrier if you can get close, but as I said, it is faster. And at the start of the game, it's quite a long way away. So we all docked up. What are you doing there? Oh well, never mind. Come on. Oh well, let's just leave it there. I don't know what it's doing. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. Now, so we've got your defences, we've got the walrus and the manta. So let's control the carrier and we'll set a waypoint. And this is, with this version, the one big flaw. So there we are, we'll put that curse, that waypoint just there, program in and set the autopilot. So you can see it's not very far. Set autopilot, let's dock that, put that manta down, there we go. We won't worry about the walrus, can we put it? No. Never mind, but anyway, so we're moving off. To get all the way over here, so not very far. So not even perhaps a quarter of the distance to the next island. So I think we've run the ground and backing up at the minute. Let's put the autopilot back on. Okay. And off we go. Oh, what's this report? Don't know. Oh, it's for the reports coming up. So I think compared to most 8-bit games, and even the 16-bit games that have come out so far, this is really quite complicated. I think it was followed up by Battle Command, which was similar. And that game was really, really difficult. I don't think I got, ever got very far, even at the time. Whereas in this I did. But the only flaw, as I say, in this game is... Here we go. So I think... Let's go back... 
not quite full speed yet. So we're getting there very, very slowly. And that is a trouble. Travelling between islands takes... Well, it doesn't take masses of time. I think possibly perhaps 10 minutes for one of these. But it is a bit slow. It really does slow the game down. So we're not even anywhere near this one yet. And that is the one problem with this game. Otherwise, it works really well, apart from the inverted controls that do annoy me these days. Now, I think on the other versions, other than the Amiga maybe, which I think came out just after the Atari ST version, they put in a time skip function. And basically those versions tend to, even the Spectrum is probably a better game because of it. So you can see we're not, not even there yet. And the Spectrum version apparently is really good. Not surprising with real time's heritage there. But anyway, so that's Carrier Command on the Atari ST. A good game, but has this one on this version, one big flaw. So, bye bye for now, and I'll see you again next time.